Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I wanted to film a quick little thrift haul for you guys. I've been slowly collecting stuff as usual since my last haul. It's actually hard for me to remember what things I actually showed you guys in the last one and what things we've had long enough now that I haven't showed you but are just kind of like blending in now. And so I've gone around the house and taken like pictures off the wall that I'm pretty sure I haven't shown you guys. And there's some more recent stuff. And so I just wanted to show you some of the pieces I bought since my last thrift haul. I haven't filmed in this room yet since we've moved into this new house, but it's the warmest room in the house right now. It got really cold last night and we had all the windows open. So I'm kind of like soaking up the heat in this room over here, which obviously isn't the best place for canned goods, but we're still adjusting to be in this new house. So, <laughs> so anyway, let's get right into this haul. So I'm just gonna come right out and show you guys my favorite piece out of the whole haul. This picture I got off of an online thrift store. It's actually an Instagram thrift store. I will try to link it if I remember which one it was. But this is the cutest picture of a barn and trees and some sheep. And we actually got this right around when we moved in here and it was right around when we just got our own sheep. So, and then, and then also I grew up raising sheep. So it kind of has like, a little special place in my heart, this little picture of sheep. So I have this one right in the living room, right where I can look at it all the time. I was originally gonna put it in the kids' room, but I was like, you know what, I wanna see this all the time because this is like one of my favorite pictures. It's actually signed on the back by the person who, it's the same person who drew the picture, so I guess she actually signed it. Next we have these little oval floral prints. I, I think I got these off of an Etsy thrift shop, but the, the frames are like plasticky and cheap, but they look like kind of cool, like old antique type frames. You can't tell until you like touch it and you can feel that it is. But I think they just look really cool and I don't know. I always, I always find that oval, floral, antique type, like little prints just go really like they just kind of bring a gallery wall together they can just kind of get put anywhere it's just nice to have a lot extra of them so they're definitely something i look for a lot when i go thrifting those actually go on the same gallery wall as the sheet picture in the living room so they, they kind of go together next is this set of three prints these are like hunting hunting prints i don't want to break them we have this one, it looks like they're bird hunting in these. So I got this set for Dimmy's room, which I still haven't figured out the artwork situation in the kids' room because the windows are all covered with blankets and I'm not sure their beds are gonna stay there. Dimmy's gonna move to a big boy bed eventually. So I just haven't, I've hung one picture above each of their beds to have something there I picked their favorite picture out of their old rooms and hung it above their beds for some familiarness. But I I wanted to do all these cute little gallery wall in the room, like just little bits of like, like a little gallery of pictures and like different spots in the room. But as I was putting it together, it wasn't quite looking right and I was just not feeling inspired. So I just stopped and I'll, I will try again later. But these would be perfect for a little boy's room. Okay, and then the last picture I got is this cute little embroidered floral picture. I just thought this was, it looks like antique and it's really simple and something that will like fit in well in gallery walls as you can tell. I'm, I love my gallery walls. And so if I can find something that looks like antique and feminine and really goes with my style, but it's still like subtle enough to go in a gallery wall, that's, Exactly what I look for. So I haven't found a spot for this yet. I'm still like semi deciding where stuff is all gonna go and especially since this house will still need to be remodeled and like this room I haven't hung any artwork because it's just we're not in here a ton and the walls are really crappy and it's just like more of a storage room but when it's done I will want artwork to hang in here so it's always good to have more artwork is what I always think. So the next thing I'm I can't bring out to show you because they're attached to the wall pretty good but they're 
like wall sconces for candlesticks. I had one before that was like, it was one, one part they attach to the wall, but it has two candlestick holders. This one is a set of two wall sconces. They're separate, so I was like, this would be so cool to put them on either side of a picture. So we put them on either side of the painting that Luke's uncle painted for us for our wedding, and I think it looks really cool. But something about those brass candle holders that hang on the wall just look so cool and rustic and antique and farmhousey, and I, I just really like how they look. So I was really excited to find those for a good price. Again, that they probably came from an Instagram thrift shop because that's where I find all my good stuff is Instagram online thrift shops. And then the last thing is also one that I'll just have to show you some b-roll of because it's dirty right now and I don't want to pick it up. But it's a little area rug that I have next to my bed. It's this really pretty green color with some white mixed in it. It's kind of like a plaid design. I like the look of having a lot of rugs around even if they overlap a little bit and I just like kind of that more busy look if you know what I mean like I just like having a lot of rugs so this one goes next to my bed and it's a really like something about the texture I also really like for putting my feet on first thing in the morning I'm also keeping my out for a couple more of these size rugs because I need one for the kitchen I've had these three same rugs for like our whole marriage one for the kitchen one for our one bathroom and one for like probably, usually the front door but then now we have more entrances and more bathrooms and I've also started liking putting them in front of or next to beds for when you step on it the first thing in the morning. So I'm keeping an eye out for more like kind of cool antique looking just little rugs. I mean obviously I'm always looking for big rugs but those are expensive. So more little rugs would be good too. So anyway I think that is it for this thrift haul. It was just a few little things but I'm really excited about them and I wanted to show you guys. And now I will start making a collection of things to show you in the next haul. I, there is actually a cute little antique store that I drive by whenever I leave this, since we've moved in this new house. I always drive by it when I have to go to town and it looks so cool from the outside and so I'm really excited to go in there. I just need to find a time where Luke can watch the kids because it also looks like a place they would have a lot of breakable things and I don't really want to take them in there. <laughs> so I may have some really good items from that place next time I do a thrift haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!